Every May, we team up with Women's Health Magazine to bring you important information in honor of National Women's Health Week. And joining us now is Women's Health Magazine Editor-in-Chief Amy Keller-Laird. Welcome, Amy. Hi, thank you, thank you. So talk to us, National Women's Health yeah. Week, what, what is the big goal from your perspective this year? There are different pillars um, to it, but one that we really embrace at Women's Health is mental health, mm -hmm. because, you know, it's, if you're not, mentally sound, you can't even take care of the rest of your body. So we're really honing into that and making sure it's something you can't see. So it's also something that people don't even think about that much. But it's something it's, personal to you? Personal to me, yeah. You know, last year we did a big story about busting the stigma around mental health issues and I talked about my own diagnosis with OCD and it became a thing that our readers really responded to. I think the fact that we put ourselves into it personally and talked mm -hmm. about it from that perspective. So we've really made it a pillar and something we want to explore every May. And speaking of mental health, Talk to us about this concept of smiling depression. Yeah, so this is something we delved into this year. We have a partnership with the National Alliance on Mental Illness, and it turns out we did a survey. 89% of people who said they had anxiety or depression said that they were able to hide their symptoms and basically go about their day, go to work, and nobody knew the wiser. You know, it's sort of, it's something that affects very high-functioning, very ambitious women because they want to put out this front that everything is fine, that I've got it together, and maybe they think, I don't have it so bad, I don't need to get treatment, but really what can happen is um, things can bubble over. You know, Maybe they have these mild symptoms, but the longer they keep it in and the more they don't talk about it. Well, and that's one thing yeah. we pride ourselves on the show is if you hide something, it becomes bigger and bigger. Exactly. I, I love the concept of taking time every day to clear our minds. And you have mm -hmm. three really cool, quick yeah. tips on how we can do this. Yeah, so one, we've got these ice packs in front of us. This is the ice trick. So actually you take sure. it, you hold it underneath your eye, above the cheekbone, hold it there for 30 seconds. So we all look silly, but really, you know, what will happen is if we held it here for 30 seconds, it's sort of uncomfortable. So it takes you out of your thoughts, but it also triggers a reflex. Well, and there is physiology to support yeah. that. There are all those sensory nerves, cr cranial nerves we have on the face that if you stimulate one area, it may actually have an overall effect not only exactly. on, on, on your exterior, but your mental status as well. Exactly. So ice pack under the eyes. What's the second tip? Second tip, so we've got the trash tip. So basically what you wanna do is you're, you're having a thought, I can't do anything right. You write it down, and then you really sort of fact check yourself. Is this actually true? And once you have it down on paper like that, you kinda know, no, it's not. I mean, maybe I messed up over here, or I did this, but like, I'm not a mess overall. And then you can kind of mentally toss it in the trash and you know, move on, get out of those so, intrusive So it's all thoughts. your subconscious trash talk being tossed in the trash. Exactly. Sort of flushing bad thoughts. Exactly. And last but not least, yeah. the stair trick. So the stair trick. So this is sort of a visualization exercise. Close your eyes, few deep breaths. Imagine yourself walking down a spiral staircase. You're seeing the light, you're feeling your foot on the floor, you're touching the banister. And the, like, the more you ground yourself in that experience, the more you just, again, push away those other intrusive thoughts. And just getting yourself out for a moment, you can kind of like get back to that point where you're like, okay, everything's okay. Sort of reset. Yeah, reset. So oh, tell us about your social media initiative. That's so interesting. Yeah, too. so you know, one of the things that's interesting about smiling depression is that a lot of people who have it are posting on social media about how great life is, and you know, we all curate our social profiles and just show the best parts. But um, so our initiative is hashtag how I really felt, where we've asked women to go back to some of these pictures that they've posted. You know, I was at a party, I was having a great time, and really come back and post how they were really feeling. And we have some really compelling ones in the magazine where people were at parties or they were, um, you know, I'm out on Lake Michigan, but really inside they were not feeling great. And it's just part of, again, talking about it, getting it out in the open, and that helps bust the stigma and makes people realize, I, I can talk about this, and this is something that's important. And these it's things that we're talking about, you can check them out in Women's Health Magazine. And for more ways to better your health, you can head over to womenshealthmag.com and thedoctorstv.com for exclusive web videos from yeah, us. We'll be there. <laughs> In the meantime, let's see what's coming up next.